Yo, what is going on guys? It is Foxy Dude 98 here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, play, a FIFA 16 player ratings predictions video, specifically looking at the Arsenal squad. Now if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button, it'd be absolutely awesome. Subscribe for some more content such as things like this. And also, let me know in the comments section down below which team you'd like to cover next. Also in the comments, let me know if you think that any of the players that I've said may be incorrect or you think they should be deserve a different rating. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And uh, yeah, let's, without further ado, we're going to get straight into the Arsenal team. And uh, let's see if you agree with the predictions that I've given for their FIFA 16 player ratings. So first of all then, we're going to be going with the two goalkeepers that play for Arsenal. We've got Petr Cech and David Ospina. I haven't included Wojciech Szczesny because he's gone on loan to Roma. So I don't really think that I need to include him. But anyway, we've got Petr Cech and David Ospina, uh, as you can see on your teams right now. This is their FIFA 15 card. And now what we're going to be seeing is their FIFA 16 card, which looks just like this. So you can see what I've done is I have downgraded Petrek to an 84 rated goalkeeper and I've upgraded Ospina to an 80 rated keeper. I've downgraded Czech just because Courtois was the number one goalkeeper at Chelsea last year. Plus Petrek's starting to get a little bit old now. He is 33 which means that EA tend to downgrade players due to their age. And Ospina I've upgraded to an 80 rated card just because he was Arsenal's number one keeper for the second half of the season after Chesney's poor display against Southampton. He was a good goalkeeper and he also did really well in the Copa America for Colombia which is why I've given him this rating. Okay, so now we're going to be starting off with the defenders. I'm going to be looking at the three centre-backs that Arsenal currently have, which is Gabriel, Mertesacker and Laurent Koscielny. So what you can see on your screen right now is their FIFA 15 player rating at the moment in time. And we're about to see what I have given these three players for their FIFA 16 rating. So this is the FIFA 16 player ratings that I've given these three uh, players. Gabriel have upgraded to a 78 rated player just because he is a very good centre back and when Arsenal bought him in January, he got a big upgrade up to a 77 rated uh, card. So I've decided to upgrade him just an extra one uh, for, to a 78 because he hasn't had much game time but he's had a little bit. Mertesacker have downgraded to an 81 rated player because I think he's a useless big pile of crap. And uh, Koscielny have got graded, upgraded to an 84 rated uh, defender because without Koscielny, Arsenal would be conceding about 20 goals a game. I think he's one of the best centre-backs in the BPL. Not the best, but one of the best. And I definitely think he deserves an upgrade in the Arsenal team. Next of them, we're going to be looking at the full-backs. And as you can see on the screen right now, we're going to be looking at Debushi, Monreal, Gibbs and Bellerin. They're their FIFA, 6, uh, FIFA 15 player cards at the moment. And this is what I have given the full-backs as their ratings. So as you can see then, I have kept Debushi the same just because EA tends to, whenever someone has an injury troubled season, they tend to keep them at the same rating depending on how good they were. But I've kept them at an 80 rated. You could possibly downgrade Debushi because he has had an injury troubled season. Monreal, despite the fact he's got himself still in the starting lineup for Arsenal, I don't think he's that good of a left back at all. I've downgraded him to a 75 rated. It would have been worse, but because he's kept his place in the starting lineup somehow, I'm keeping him at 75. Gibbs, because of course he's on the bench a lot now, I'm going to be keeping him at a 77 or downgrading to a 77 rated card because I don't think he deserves to stay as um, at that because he's stuck on the bench. And also Bellerin, I'm gonna, I've bumped up quite heavily to a 72 rated card. The reason I've done this is because Bellerin has got so much potential and he's shown a lot of his potential for Arsenal already, which is why I've given him that card and I think he does thoroughly deserve it. Next up then we're going to be moving on to the midfield and uh, we're going to be doing this in two sections because a lot of midfielders that I want to cover. So first of all we're going to be looking at Jack Wilshire, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Mikel Arteta and Matthew Flaherty. They're their FIFA 15 player rating, predict well, player rating cards at the moment. Let's go see their FIFA 16 predictions that I've given them. So here are the FIFA 16 player rating cards that I have given or predicted for the Arsenal set. So Jack Wilshire, I've kept at an 81 rated. He had a bit of an injury troubled um, season, which is why I've kept him as an 81 rated card. Uh, but he did do well at the end of the season. Chamberlain as well sort of was in and out of the team. But when he was in the team, he was very destructive. And that's why I've given him that card. Arteta was a basically out for the whole of last season for Arsenal. And with his age, I reckon he's going to get a big downgrade down to a 76 rated card, I believe. Just because he's getting old now and he had a very in, well, a very long spell on the sidelines last season. Um, so that's why I've given him that card. And Flamini have downgraded to a 75 rated card just because I can't really see him getting into the Arsenal lineup with the amount of potential and the amount of midfielders that we've got in the team currently at the moment. Now then, we're going to be covering the next set of midfielders, which we're going to be covering Theo Walcott, 
Santi Gazzola, Alexis Sanchez, Francis Coquelin, Aaron Ramsey, and Meza Ozil. Again, as you can see, these are their 50 for 15 cards. And what you're going to be seeing on your screen right now is what I have predicted their FIFA 16 ratings are going to be. All right, then, so as you can see on your screens right now are the player ratings that I have predicted for their FIFA 16 cards. Phil Walcott, I've kept it an 81 rated card because he had an injury troubled season, but when he came back from injury, he was a very, he played a crucial part in the Arsenal role. His pace and his shooting and his scoring abilities was absolutely awesome, which is why he's maintained an 81 rated card for me. Santi Cazorla is probably the second best Arsenal player in the team, which is why I've upgraded him from an 84 rated card to an 86 rated card. I've also moved his le I've also moved his position. He is a left mid in FIFA 15, but I think he's a central player in actual for Arsenal, which is why I've moved him to a cam in FIFA 16. Then we've got Alexis Sanchez, 85 rated currently. He is probably one of the best players in the Premier League at the moment, which is why I've upgraded him to an 87 rated card. He always works hard, always pushes up and down the pitch and scores a lot of goals. Coquelin I've upgraded from a 72 rated card to a 76 rated card. I think he performed really well in the second half of the season, especially when he's got his chance because he was originally on loan, I think it was at Carlisle. He was disappointed to be called back from his loan, but he's proved himself massively in the Arsenal team and has got himself a good spot as the CDM that we kind of needed. Next up, we're going with Aaron Ramsey, who I still think has been improving ever since his dream season. I think it was two years ago now or a year ago. Um, so I've gone from his from his 83 rated card, I've gone him up to an 84 rated card. He's always deadly whenever he starts on the pitch. He does score a couple of goals, not as many as he used to when he had that world one wonder season. But he's still a very top player nevertheless, and that's why I've given him that card. Finally, we're going to be moving on to Meza Ozil, the frog-eyed man, as you like to call him. He's an 86 rated card at the moment. I've upgraded him to an 87 rated card because the one reason I've done that is because I think I think a lot of people sort of like, um, they sort of, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for here? They don't really give Ozil enough credit as he does. I mean, in the, in the previous game that Arsenal played, Ozil completed 54 out of 55 passes, but then no one really gives a crap about it, to be honest. Like, Ozil is a player who's very, very quiet on the pitch, but he gets the job done beautifully, and he's a, and he's a beautiful midfielder and one of the best in the Arsenal team. Finally, then, we're going to be moving on to the strikers in the Arsenal team. So, as you can see on the screens right now, we've got Danny Welbeck and we've got Olivier Giroud. They're 15 cards. Danny Welbeck's got 78 rated non rare cards, and Olivier Giroud has got a 79 rated rare gold card. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the predictions that I have given them for their FIFA 16 player card. All right, then, guys. So, as you can see, then, these are the predictions that I've given Danny Welbeck and Olivier Giroud. I've both given them an upgrade to an 80 rated card. Now, I'll explain both of those just now. So, Welbeck for me I think should be upgraded to an 80 rated card just because he was young and he showed a lot of potential in the start of the season. Sort of had a little bit of an injury trouble at the end of the season which is why he's only got up to an 80 rated card. Possibly could be a 79 rated but I still think he had a strong start to the season which is why I've given him that card. Now Olivier Giroud is a controversial one because a lot of people will think that Giroud is just a troll in the Arsenal team. But there was a stage where he scored like 11 or 12 or 11 goals in like 18 games. He went on a mad streak of just scoring, scoring, game after game after game. And it was at that middle of the season when Arsenal were at best that Giroud was constantly there scoring goals. Doesn't matter how he scored them, he was scoring them. Which is why I still think that he should get this 80 rated card. Um, but I was considering an 81 rated card when I was first doing this. But then when I realized, but then obviously Giroud had a little bit of a down streak then at the end of the season where he stopped, had a bit of a goal drought, which is why he's only been upgraded to an 80 rated card on FIFA 16. So that's going to cover it then for the FIFA 16 player rating predictions videos of Arsenal. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of my predictions. And also let me know in the comment section down below, as you can see on the screen right now, which team would you like me to do next? If you do want me to do another team, let me know in the comment section down below which team you want me to cover. I'll then go and get the go and get all their player cards. I'll adjust them and predict what their FIFA 15 card, FIFA 16 card is going to look like. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave that like rating. It'd be absolutely awesome. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already because it means a lot every time I get a new person to subscribe. And also let me know in the comment section down below, like I just said, if you think that any of the play ratings that I've given for Arsenal are wrong and you want to correct me and you think there's something different and you want to say it, then let me know. Also, what team you want to see next, that'd be absolutely awesome so I can see which team I want to cover in the next episode. And until then, guys, I'll see you on another video. Take care. Goodbye.